Hi everybody. So today we are out in the woods to do kind of a, um, a continuation of uh, helping out my friend Will. He was having troubles with his horses and we did a video on it a little while ago. And you could go back to that if you'd like. And he brought his horses to my place and we worked them a little bit right in my yard to see if we could see what was wrong. And the problems didn't really seem to arise that day. They work really good. So we all decided we better go to the woods and kind of get an update and see what's going on with, with them. So here we are in the woods and we'll see what's going on. Hi everybody. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to let you know that, that we still do have some calendars left if anyone is interested. We're gonna do a, a sale. We're gonna save five, five dollars off on calendars because of course we're coming into the new year and we don't want to have them hanging around for too long. So five dollars off for um, each calendar. So make sure you get them while supplies last. Now let's get back to what's going on. Well, it's not done. Hi, Will. Hi, my quick release and I got belts at home. But um, so as we were driving in, I saw a nice little excavator up there and I thought, oh my goodness, Will's kind of improved his, his equipment and that's mm -hmm. some excavator too. No, that's a highway department. Oh, that's highway department. They're about. trimming back the road. Okay, side. okay. So that's all I got we, down there is a 1978 Gale Skidster with a, oh, you know, with skidster a twin that's cylinder right. gas right. motor in it. Okay. So let's talk about your cart here. Um, so for you guys that are in the horse logging business, Will made this cart up himself. And so he said it's still not even, he still has some more things he wants to do with it. Yeah, it's but, not done. Um, I see it is because it's not an actual axle you actually made it. It seems quite a bit narrower than mine. What's the width on the tire widths? Bucky, bring your tape measure. So it 52. is. Yeah, it's 52. 52. 52. Yeah, but mine's a full six feet. Oh, so I saw right off that it was that it was narrower. Um, so you feel you have it plenty strong enough. It looks it looks like it'd be strong enough for what you need to do. I haven't broke it yet. You're right, right. Um, yeah. And here, this is going to be six inches higher yet. Okay. And then I got a piece already welded up at home. It goes like a T. And then there's a rod that f has this on it. And you turn it, and okay. it'll lay so over. a release, quick release. a quick release. Okay. Now, I, the one thing I, I noticed right off that I, I I don't like, and maybe that's what you're going to fix too, um, with your new setup. And I the video you sent me the other day, you were having troubles with it flipping over. Um, so will it be set up so you can have hooks out here, hitch chains out here? Yes. Okay, because I would highly recommend doing that, because if you're coming out of a spot, and turning with a long piece, especially. There's a huge difference as far as where you put that chain on your car, as far as less apt to, to flip hold over. it down. Yes, very important. But okay, so let's see what we got. And well, my lines is the biggest thing I wanted you today to f try to figure out. But okay. you gotta you gotta watch them. Okay, I can see right off one thing that's that I feel is wrong. Okay, so let me explain a few things. So Will has gone to using what what we call a brain strap. Um, when they're in the woods, and, and tell me if I'm wrong, but when they're in the woods, um, they're a little bit hard to hold, yep. and he's having a little bit of trouble keeping under good control. And it's so important in the woods to have your horses under good control. So I suggested the brain strap, and I've done a few videos on brain straps here on, on my channel. So um, you could look at that if you want to, but I don't promote it really heavily because it's something that can be really too harsh on a horse. Um, so you really need to learn how to do it properly. Um, so anyways, Will has tried a little bit with them and he's having fairly good luck with it, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. So one thing I do notice right off though, and I think it makes a difference. Um, for one, you're, you're running them different on each side. See how you have your line going through the outside and up over? Yep. Here you have it through the inside and up over. So I feel that it's important to have them the right way, which would be this way here. Okay. Um, another thing I do, and it's not, ah, uh, forget that. <coughs> it's just an idea, but I just, I'm particular about keeping my lines from being too twisted. Yeah. So, because actually it does make somewhat difference. It shortens them it up. It shortens them up. Yes. So, 
Um, so anyways, this is well, this Ravens is, right? is probably wicked twisted. And so I like to come like this and twist it around like that and twist it in, twist it over to make sure it's not twisted. So this is Tass, right? Yeah. Okay. Tass and Raven. See how that I missed the last video. That coiling up like that, how much shorter that line's gonna be because of it. Yeah, go down there, score that one at a 12, come up, take an 8 off from it, cut it at, cut, cut it at 21, come up, cut it, and then this, make an 8 out of that little scrubby log and we'll take that and that other end out together. And um, I just wanted to ask if we could introduce your son. Yep. And Buck. He's walking off. What's his name? His real name's Dylan, but I call him Buck. Buck? Okay. <laughs> we'll remember that. I think I got a horse name that. <laughs> um, and then I got, he's got to cut this. Uh, I can walk back and get my chainsaw too, but he's been running chainsaw for me, so. Okay. So, he'll get this cut up, and I see you've got some nice ones in here, but this one is not quite so nice. No. So, no. what are you going to do with this? Um, uh, well, the butt end is, is fairly decent. Yeah, I see that. Scrubby stuff, I'll take it home and put it on my mill. Okay, okay. So you're going to try to salvage all of it the best? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That way there's not... So you're going to cut it approximately where to get this out of here? I'm assuming you're not going to take the whole tree. No. He's going to cut it uh, 12 and an 8 off. He's going to cut it right off. Okay. Then he's going to get a 10, I'm hoping. So you're not going to take any further than this, are you, or are you going to get a I want to. I want to see if I can get a small eight out yep, of that. I can, can get a couple of two by fours or yeah. or boards. Yeah. One by six boards. Yep. Hey, all that scrap lumber like that. That's what I built my horse barn out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I I I put a lot of this through my mill too. Definitely. Because sometimes it's nice though. Sometimes because of where you're at, you can actually just not take it, just because yep. the inconvenience of getting that little grubby piece out. I'm gonna take these if they come out handy. And this is handy, because you can just grab it and go. But he's gotta finish lemon it, or I can finish lemon it, because he he does top both sides, so he gets to the bottom. That's why you roll and hitch comes in. <laughs> yeah, but they don't stand there for us to limit. Well, let's see how that works. Now I'm going to have to make that a short log though because I don't want to take that crook out on the side of the road. So I'll just cut it there, throw that over, and then I'll take that piece. No? Well, you have that saw cutting good. <laughs> I've been watching a guy that I want to be like when I grow up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Jim, tell him if he used a saw a little bit more RPMs, he wouldn't be stuck. Very possible. <laughs> but he's young and just learning. <laughs> well, I think we're all learning, to be honest with you. I said Every he's day. young and he's learning. I'm old <laughs> and I'm learning. So well, this is how you normally do it. You just leave your horses right here. Yep. And you grab your chain. Yep. And get your chain on, and then you can step turned around. Okay. And then I throw the second chain, and he'll get it hooked up long I'm gone. Okay. They did pretty good. Did they? You, you see a difference with the brain strap. Oh, yeah. They oh. Good. Yeah. Step. Oh, a little bit. Did he change bits? Oh, he did in the water? Yep. Okay, good. Oh. So he's just got regular snaffles yeah. and bolts. Both of them. That's good. Ha. Uh. Ha. Uh. So Will's getting turned around. Uh -oh. yeah. And his horse is turned uh -oh. around quite good. Got a close there. Uh -oh. That's one place where that bumper in front now of his tires really comes in handy. If you have to hit a tree, it throws the cart around. Back, Raven. So that you don't Back. get in trouble. Back. So his chain's all huh. on this log, so he's huh. backing up to hitch huh. on. Back. Step up. Oh. Now, ha. Uh, now, ha. Uh,
Raven. Ha over. Ha us. Ha. Oh. Now back. Now whoa. Now whoa. Whoa. Ho. Oh. 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 Ready? Oh. But this is where you're having trouble still, right? Yeah, just, yeah, but it's generally worse than that. Okay. Um, because of that, whenever you can just oh. hold them there. And one thing you got to be very careful, though, because of the brain straps, especially, you, you've got to release them as oh. soon as they back up. You oh. got to release that so they don't have that on there. On okay. Them. So even just doing that, look how much they've calmed down. Even touch. Oh. Now they get nerved up again, but just still. Oh. No. Pull back and then release. Now release that. Oh. Pull back again oh. and release it. As soon as they start moving again, pull back again and release. It's a hundred times worse. Oh. With the brain straps. Now watch Raven's release. head. Have you seen it? What? Raven's head? What? Watch. That's perfectly normal. Okay. Oh. Perfectly normal. I mean, he, she's nervous. There's no doubt. But that release oh. is so important. You got to pull back and, and then release. Oh. See that? Do you see how they stopped? Oh. Just as temporary it was. It's just a tiny little bit. But they still, they stop for a second. Even now, release that less. More, I mean. You don't want anything on the bits at all. Not at all. Not a thing. You've got to have that complete release. And there's no doubt there's nervous. They're nervous. They want to get going. But it is even right here different than what you're expecting? What they've been doing? Oh, yeah. They're standing. I you couldn't know. hold them before. Yeah, but if you put any pressure on there at all, they're going to try, they're going to try and do something. They're going to try and go backwards. They're going to try and go ahead. Something. You have to release. You have to hold them there. And then release. So important. See how much better they're standing. Oh. Pull back and release. And if he jerks his head like, like he just did, that's okay. Just give him a little bit of uh, oh. grace there. Um, but, but And he'll get better in time. But even release, you've almost got too much even on now. It's You just don't want to have anything there. Oh. But you got to do it all the time. you got to pull back and release. Pull back and release. Until they get used to it so they're, they're behaving oh. okay go ahead watch yourself back there buck step easy trail here so often when we're logging we tend to make our trails just as possible just as big ah. enough as we possibly have to and sometimes ah. it means ah. hitting a few trees ah. that really shouldn't be there ah. but we just don't want to take the time to to clean it up as good as we should because we're trying to make money so will is working on this town no. fortunately very now back um i don't it's just not used that much, so he's able to easily work here and just put his wood in the ditch. He does have a four, uh, yeah, four. he does have a skid steer up the road where the town is doing some work, but uh, I'm assuming you'll. That's where I generally skid it, but they told me not to go down there till they were done. So. Okay, and I was just saying that you don't really have that great of a road because that's what we tend to do. We just tend to make as poor a road as possible just because we're trying to make money and all the extra work involved in clearing brush. It's time consuming. Yeah. So we do quite often live with what we have. But anyways, they walked out great. Um, no problem at all. I could tell that. Um, so let's go get another hitch. If you want me to drive, I will drive to hitch on to see if see if I can see anything different. But I'm telling you, I can just so clearly see that I'll, you're releasing. I, a would, huge I difference. would like it if you turned them around and hooked to that other. It's a smaller log, but if you drove them out on that one. 
Which log? The the, the butt end of this log. Oh, that little tree. eight footer. No, it's the a, button. It's okay. a twelve and an eight. Okay, sure. Um, you drive them out, and then I'll take over. How's that? Okay. I said him. You don't said you don't have any traffic on this road, and then the truck goes by. Oh, he lives down at the end. He okay. he he stops and visits all the time. His wife brings the horses carrots. Help. So we're going to bring the horses Help. back down in and I'm going to drive oh, the G. next hitch and G. see if I might be able to find anything G. else that I might be able to help him with. G. And uh, the best way to do that is to actually drive them. And she's not even sweating today. That's a great thing. Generally, by the time we got to that corner up there, she's generally wet. So you're most definitely seeing a huge difference with the brain straps. Oh, absolutely. And I don't get as frustrated as easy, you know, because... You know you have control. Yeah, they, they mind a lot better. Right. And Will has a, a shoulder injury from a few years ago that he's... Uh, it just makes it very hard for him to, to hold back on a, a team that pulls hard. So this type of um, rigging on the lines will help him a lot, I'm sure. So if I was to skid that log, I would still come out my regular trail. But just to let you know, when you come around that trail, the tire kicker touches yeah. that tree all but the time. But see, I wouldn't. Okay, well, you put them where you want I would to put just, them. I would just move this brush if you needed to and back right in here and long chain it. So I'm doing a good job then, right? Absolutely. I, I wouldn't worry about that. I wouldn't worry about that. I would just get these couple pieces here. i back up to here. Long. Do you have a hook on both ends? Well, no. no. I did. I took them off. Okay. Um, because I was having a lot of troubles with it getting... When I, I hold this one, right? And if I'm going through the brush and it gets caught and it yanks my shoulder. Right. And I just got mad and I said, I got to take them off. Here's a solution. Very simple solution. So, you've got a good rolling hitch there, which is perfect. Um, you've got a hook on your other chain. Yeah. Just take it, tie a knot. Tie a knot. That's what I've been doing. Put the hook in there. Works fine. Yeah. See, taught me well with that rolling hitch. Absolutely. I learned that from Jim Gordon. <laughs> well, I'm glad I taught somebody something. Okay. Let me see if I can get turned around here. Yep. And my seat's wobbly, don't forget that. Yeah. Step back. Cut step. Up there. Up back. No bet, G. 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 Ah. Up. Ah. Oh. How about? Ha. 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 Ha, 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 Ba 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 Ha, ba, ha, 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 oh, step back, step back, step back, ha, ha, oh, oh, no, do you have a little bit, G, 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 oh, ha, Oh. Uh, ha. 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 
Tipa, tipa. Seeing how I make them oh. hot is doing it forward. That's how I get them to do right. it the best. The cup is out. Ah. Uh, ha. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, ha. Oh. Cup's out. Tipa. Oh! Over there. Ah. Ha. Oh! Ha. That's definitely more of your problem than anything else. Oh! Oh! No! Oh! 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 No! No! no. 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 Oh. Oh. Come back. Now they are. Oh. Okay. Oh. No. So don't hit the hit chain on you. You can get it ready though. Go ahead and get ready. Oh. 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 No. 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 Oh. Oh. No. No. And this is so important, just have them stand like this. Well, and I've been that making G and them do that. A G and Han's a different problem. Ho, 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 ba, ho, ho, ho. But it's so important to release those lines and only put the pressure on. And, and even you're not even putting the pressure on, they're putting the pressure on. If my lines are loose, they only get tight if they jerk ahead. Yeah. And then just don't pull back, just hold it at the same spot. And then... But and don't you love how she does that right there? No, she's a pain in the Without neck. a brain bend bit. Oh, it'd be miserable. You couldn't hold, yeah. I can't hold her. It, she'd be miserable, yes. And that's. A workhorse you can't tie down, can you? Like a riding horse, how they tie there. Oh, well, you could, you could. Um, one possibility is, is, but I don't think I'd do it with her, is to run a strap from her bit to, to, to Tess's bit. Not, uh, no, run a strap from her bit to Tess's hame. Yeah. But I don't think that's really necessary. Just hang on. I mean, you, you, gotta, you gotta produce stuff. So you can't do this all day long and you make them stand all day long. Yeah. You know, you gotta, is that thing cut? No. Okay. Um, I just don't wanna hit, have it fall no. down your heads. It, it's not gonna fall. It's in the ground. It's gonna. It'll come right. up out of the ground right. if anything. Now, if I was concerned about them, their ability to pull this log, I probably wouldn't do it like this unless I absolutely have to, because it's going to pull out harder. It's going to hit those dead things. It shouldn't be an issue, but you know what I mean. I would get back there and get a nice tight hitch to have that lift, because yeah. you're not going to have to lift here in this situation. They'll draw that. Yeah, I don't doubt they'll draw it. Um, but you know. Raven will fall down to draw it, but she'll draw it. Just hang on on my old rickety cart. I cast up. Cap stop. Oh, oh. Oh, now Tess was the first one to quit. Oh. No. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Caught me off guard. <laughs> that's when they do it to me. Oh, oh, absolutely. Oh. oh. But the more you do this, the more you make them stand, the sooner and better and faster they'll get over it. I think we should practice that at home. But they haven't skid nothing at all today. Just right. that little bit of firewood that's out there. Right. When they get out there with that, you know, they'll have a little different attitude right. when they come back. Hey, cap stop. Cap stop.
Oh. Hey. Hey. Huh. Hey. Oh. It's all right, oh. we'll get it out. No. I was pleased how well they pulled. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised, but yeah. Oh. I tough stuff. Tough stuff. Oh. Well, one thing I would do also, I'd bring the buckles back a notch on each side. So what that will do is pull them together, pull their heads together a little bit, even right now if you did that. Um, because that, what's happening as they're pulling, both their heads are swinging out to the right, to the outside a little bit. So bring it backwards. One notch. And when you're adjusting lines, you really need to just, I don't think you can reach that. Um, you really need to just do little, tiny little changes so you know what really worked. I got a pair of bio lines, but in the winter time, I don't like them, they're too slippery. You know, one other thing I want to do, if you stay at the head so they're safe. This might help you. If you take this and put it in there. So we're just taking the lead rope Put it underneath her lines, hitch it down low here, and do it in such a way that you're, okay. it's a long ways away, fairly amount of way. This is for that jerking motion that she's been doing. This will stop that without you having to stop it. Okay. But yeah, it still won't affect her pulling because there's a lot of slack here. Um, so just, let's just see what happens. Hey, oh. hey, 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 and you got to play with that to get it adjusted, right? Hey, 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 see it's really too long, it's not doing, oh, hey, it's not quite doing it right there, so it'd have to be shorter than I have it, but that idea, just kind of get that right point where it doesn't affect her driving at all, but if she starts throwing her head, it jerks her back. Yep. So I know. hate that right there. I know. But that will help you. And I even switched to the regular bits like you told me to do. And that's all you need with a brain shop. That's all you want. I kept up. Kept up. Put it up there. Yeah. yeah. Up. Put her right in the. I Cuffed don't up. think there's a deep ditch there. Up. That's good. Oh. No. Okay. Um, now, would they normally always stand right here perfectly? Yep. Yeah. It's and just, just out in the woods. And they'll G tight as tight here. Right. I was surprised how poor. Tess was hawing. She didn't want to go to the left. And, no, uh, they, they, they don't. That, that's what I was trying to explain to you on that first video. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, that's something you're just going to have to keep working with, but I still think the brain straps will help you out a lot. And I think more trips like this, if you could take hitches this size steady for a long period of time, that would help you help them out tremendously. You know, this is the size hitch you should be hauling. A lot of times you can't do that because, you know, you can just grab the one and go. But yeah. even even that one there, just that steady, you know, really putting some miles on them. Is this bigger than so. you usually take? No. No? 
That 12 footer I had was weighed about the same as this, I would assume, right? No? Maybe. But but this is a fine size fish. People hoot and holler if you take too big of a load. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else that might be able to help you with. Um, but I think you're doing good and I think you're going the right way with these brain straps. I think this will really help you. Um, you know, I, I, I think I'd try and get my seat a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a lawnmower seat on it. A okay. tractor seat, you know? Now, what about, uh, do you not like the bench seat like I have, that type of thing? No. Okay. The reason I like that, though, is you can slide back and forth to put more pressure on a horse that needs more pressure. Oh. That's what I... Um, I had a bench seat on there, and I okay, cut it off. That was up for. Yep. Okay. A lot of people have it like this. It's fine. Um, so. I mean, they wanted they want a 3500 for a new car i built that one for 300. uh yeah, yeah. you know and it's it's gonna and it's work got fine. an old ellen pole in it yep it's gonna work fine well they don't look too winded up there no no. Uh, fine. no they need uh, they'll stand there all day they i don't understand it and that's but you do understand how much better they were with you that first hitch when you released them yes you saw that clearly because that's so important, and I and I think that'll help you so much. Um, well, and I think a lot of their anxiety is because they're feeling good. They they want to go and get some work done. Okay. Well, I don't know. I I hope I was, I'm glad we were able to come over here, and I I I can see some definite improvements, or from like the video you sent me, how the the how jumpy they how were. Jumpy they were. And uh, yeah, I think it's just going to take a little more time and uh, keep working with them and I think you're, you're still doing fine. Still doing fine with them. So, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna let go of the lines. Like you said to me this morning, don't give up and get another one. Just, no. Just stay? I would definitely still say stay. And I think there's more of an issue of turning them in the woods that you need to work on with than not standing. Because I think because of the brain straps and by holding them and then releasing them you're going to get that standing problem under control pretty fast sure. and then you got to start working with the turning problem the turning problem could possibly be are they turning worse today than they were before because it takes a horse a long time to learn how to handle the brain straps and when you're turning them like that they just might not be getting used to it and well all the time before i tried to always just use voice command to turn them uh-huh so and that's what I kind of use out here. So I, I well, maybe even out here you should use the lines more to turn them to get them used to it. So they're turning good here. Use your lines more so that they can get the feel and understand lines even right. more. I mean, they might have been actually turning even worse for me than they were with you because I really used lines and they weren't responding. And so, you know. Yeah, because if I turn right here. Once I get on, I pick, tighten up my lines a little bit. I'll just tell her to G and she'll... She'll swing over there. Yeah, yeah. they swing yeah. tight. So I would highly suggest that's great, but use your lines also because you have so many times where you have to use your lines. When you're backing up and one horse is backing fast and they're starting to turn and you're not being able to keep them straight, you need to use your lines. The equal amount. Yes. So... It's a lot different than backing in front of a stone boat and pulling concrete. I'll it tell is. you that. It is. <laughs> you know, you swing them in front of a stone boat and drop the pin and, you know, that right. was it. Right, right. So. And then I got the harebrained idea to try this. But I don't know. I mean, I'm not rich, but I make enough to pay my bills. Perfect, perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, well, I know you need to get some timber out today. And we got to get home because Abby needs to... Take some lumber up to her house and she wants to use the blacks. Alrighty. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Right. You're more than welcome.